In this video, we'll talk about famine, its causes and remedies. A famine is a widespread scarcity of food in some region, often leading to deaths due to starvation. Causes of famine can be split into two broad categories, man-made causes and natural causes. Let's dig into both these causes. We'll start with natural causes. The largest reason for famines in the entire history of mankind has been drought. Drought is a situation where we have no rain over a particular region for a long time. It could be like one year of no rain or two years of no rain. And that kind of situation causes very dry soil, which makes the soil infertile. It leaves the rivers dry and it also can lead to a shortage of drinking water. So such a situation will affect the crop and will affect the food supply. We've seen this happen in many times. One of the recent times was in Somalia in 2011. We just saw how the lack of water could cause a famine. An excess of water could also cause a famine. You can see how fields get destroyed and uh, one flood for a short period like a few days or weeks could cause the entire crop for the year to be destroyed and sometimes even the crop for the next year to be destroyed. An example of a famine caused by flood is the Bangladesh famine in the 1970s. The next natural cause we'll discuss is pests. If you look carefully at the leaf, here in this picture, you'll see that this one is diseased. Often diseases uh, spread throughout the region in a particular plant and that can cause the entire crop for the entire region to be destroyed. An example is the Ireland famine in the 1840s. The potato crop got affected for a few years in succession and then there was no food for people to eat. The last natural cause that we will discuss is earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, cyclones. All of these disasters can damage crops, can leave people homeless, jobless, and all of those uh, conditions put together can often cause a shortage of food. Now, we discussed a lot of natural causes. These were the natural causes we discussed. Now, we'll move on to discussing man-made causes. So, the first man-made cause we'll discuss is war. Today, in 2024-2025, War is the largest single cause for famine around the world. Often what happens is when there's a war, transport routes get blocked, borders get sealed, and then that leaves people without food. Funding for public food supply is cut because all the funding goes towards the war. Such a situation is very dangerous, and we've seen this happen recently even in South Sudan in 2013. The next man-made cause is government mismanagement. A weak public distribution system for food grain can cause a famine. Bribery can cause shortages of food in certain areas. Not preventing hoarding is another one that can cause a famine. What is hoarding? Let's say one man has a lot of food and he does not sell it to others or give it to others. That can cause a famine. It has been said that the North Korea 1994 famine was due to government mismanagement. The next man-made cause we'll discuss is soil erosion, land pollution, water pollution, air pollution. Due to all of these things, land quality deteriorates, water quality deteriorates, and then we're left with very bad land and very bad water for irrigation, and so we can't grow any more crops. This is a threat for the future. People have had to abandon agricultural land because of pollution, and this trend is increasing because of the rate at which we are polluting the earth. The next man-made cause we'll discuss is an economic crisis. Lack of money can lead to the inability to buy food. But the inability to buy food could also be because of increased prices in food. Suddenly, if food prices increase, people could be stuck without any money to buy food. So, uh, this usually uh, economic crisis is not usually an independent reason for a famine. It's usually coupled with some other reason. Let's try to understand how this works. These are all the reasons that we discussed. You can see that a war could cause an economic crisis, right? A drought could cause an economic crisis. Even government mismanagement could cause an economic crisis. So often a lot of different factors together cause a famine. It's usually never one standalone reason. Let's say there's an earthquake during a war. That could intensify an already present food shortage. Even flood could cause soil erosion. Or pests could be caused due to air pollution or water pollution, land pollution. So you can see how uh, it's usually never one particular reason that causes a famine these days. It's a mixture of three or four reasons that can cause a famine. The next question we want to ask is how can famines be prevented? 
Well, it's the responsibility of the government to store up enough food grain for the entire population in case something happens. Governments stock up food grains in India. The Food Corporation of India stocks up food grains in various go-downs all over the country in every district so that in case a food shortage arises, in case a war-like situation arises, food can be distributed to people who need it. Ration shops do this work by providing food free of cost during calamities and if not free of cost at very low prices during calamities and that takes care of food shortages that may arise due to calamities. Okay, how can we help? Are there any famines around the world today? Yes, there are famines around the world today but today's famines are all associated with war and conflict. Gaza today in 2025, 2025 is when this video was made, is experiencing food shortage. North Africa is experiencing food shortage. Many humanitarian organizations and governments donate food to these regions. An example of an organization that is donating food grains in needy areas is the UN's World Food Program. You can go check it out online. They're doing a good job across needy areas and distributing food. The world has way more food than it needs. All we need to ensure is that the people who need it the most get the food.